Cool. 365 day devotional. This is for uh, March 19th. Uh, I guess I, yesterday I might have been just way too tired. I think I did it yesterday. Angels answered him. Yeah, I did it. I'm just a day behind. We'll go 365 day devotional times two because we're going to need that next one too, I bet. A prayer for Jesus is Lord. Jesus said to him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. John 14, 6. O Lord, conqueror over death, to hear you say it is finished is glorious. I confess with my lips that there is nothing I can do or say that will add to what you did on the cross. You are my only hope of salvation. In Jesus' name, amen. I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. John 14, 6. We'll go into the next one, March 20th. Uh, your attitude about you. Suppose I had wings like the dawning day and flew across the ocean. Even then, your powerful arm would guide and protect me. Psalm 139. Huh. It's the last one. To accept God's grace is to accept God's offer to be adopted into his family. Your identity is not in your possessions, talents, tattoos, kudos, or accomplishments. Nor are you defined by your divorce, deficiency, debt, or dumb choices. You are God's child. You get to call him Papa or Abba. You may approach God with freedom and confidence. Ephesians 3.12 you receive the blessings of his special love, 1 John 4, 9 through 11, and provision, Luke 11, 11 through 13. And you will inherit the riches of Christ and reign with him forever, Romans 8, 17. The adoption is horizontal as well as vertical. You are included in the forever family. Dividing walls of hostility are broken down, and community is created on the basis of a common father, instant family worldwide. Rather than conjure up reasons to feel good about yourself, trust God's verdict. If God loves you, you must be worth loving. If he wants to have you in his kingdom, then you must be worth having. God's grace invites you, no, requires you to change your attitude about yourself and take sides with God against your feelings of rejection. Hmm. Your attitude about you. Suppose I had wings like the dawning day and flew across the ocean. Even then, your powerful arm would guide and protect me. Psalm 139. <laughs> Instant family worldwide. That is so true. We don't need to be introverts. You need to be extroverts. You need to talk to people, basically. Those are your family, your brothers and sisters in Christ. I've been trying to get to know somebody. Just slowly, just slowly, slowly, it works. It's cool. You need to know about and then people will be like, nobody's ever asked me those type of questions before. That's right, because I'm trying to get to know you. I mean, it doesn't mean that we're trying to get in like, an uh, intimate relationship. We're just trying to get to know somebody. And you'll have more in common with those people than you think. And I always say, the world is so small, you always run into somebody that you know. If you, if you just look around, I know every time I go into Target, usually every time I go into Target, I run into somebody I know. And then Walmart. Uh, I don't know. Just meet as many people as you can. Because they are your family. They sure are. All brothers and sisters in Christ. We're all from that bloodline. It's pretty cool, huh? Alright. 365 Day Devotional. That is Max Lucado's book, God is With You Every Day. 365 Day Devotional. Alright. Cool deal. It's getting a little later. What else? <laughs> draw close to God and he'll draw close to you. That's a cool one. Um, If I had to read something real quick, like... O oh Lord, you have searched me, and you know me. You know when I sit and when I rise. You perceive my thoughts from afar. You discern my going out and my lying down. You are familiar with all my ways. Before a word is on my tongue, you know it completely, O Lord. You hem me in behind and before. You have laid your hand upon me. Such knowledge is too wonderful for me, too lofty, <laughs> too lofty for me to attain. Where can I go from your spirit? Where can I flee from your presence? 
If I go up to the heavens, you are there. If I make my bed in the depths, you are there. If I rise on the wings of dawn, if I settle on the far side of the sea, even there your hand will guide me. Your right hand will hold me fast. If I say, surely the darkness will hide me, and the light become night around me, even the darkness will not be dark to you. The night will shine like the day, for darkness is a light to you. For you created my innermost being. You knit me together in my mother's womb. I praise you because I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Your works are wonderful. I know that full well. My frame was not hidden from you when I was made in the secret place. When I was woven together in the depths of the earth, your eyes saw my unformed body. All the days ordained for me were written in your book before one of them came to be. How precious to me are your thoughts, O God! How vast is the sum of them! Were I to count them, they would outnumber the grains of sand. When I awake, I am still with you. If only you would slay the wicked, O God. Away from me, you bloodthirsty men. They speak of you with evil intent. Your avatars misuse your name. Do I not hate those who hate you, O Lord? And abhor, abhor those who rise up against you. I have nothing but hatred for them. I count them my enemies. Search me, O God, and know my heart. Test me and know my ancient thoughts. See if there is any offensive way in me and lead me in the way everlasting. Oh, man. Dang. Here we go. If only you would slay the wicked, O oh God. Away from me, you bloodthirsty men. They speak of you with evil intent. Your adversaries misuse your name. Do I not hate those who hate you, O oh Lord? Huh. Remember that. That is so important. I tell you, I tell you, there's there's a lot of good around us, but there are bad disguised, disguised, but they can be turned. There is hope. He's God. I mean, all he's got to do is start um, softening their heart, if you will. He really will, and opening up their eyes. And that's, he's going to do it through us. We've got to be the light, and we got to, we got to talk to those people just a little bit every day and their eyes start to change and and people start to plant seeds pray for that every day i probably say that every time on here praying for patience and obedience but nothing evil or demonic comes around us around me my family my friends my co-workers my workplace kind of nothing does there's people that are in sin and stuff but uh, and, I, and that's the flesh doesn't necessarily mean they're evil but if I don't know if people aren't for God then who are they for you can't be on the fence you can't be lukewarm you pick a side on the fence is said to be with Satan so hmm I don't know alright guys Psalm 139 love you. see ya <laughs>